Hello everybody and welcome back to The Beatles Forever. Uh, today we're going to talk about what inspired Paul McCartney towards music. Paul McCartney was destined to become involved with music. His dad Jim McCartney had a jazz band in the 1920s called the Jim Mack Jazz Band. Uh, Jim, however, didn't have music as a full-time job. He was a cotton salesman with a company in Liverpool called Hannies. Jim also taught himself to play piano by ear, and it was Paul's dad who gave Paul the love of Broadway show tunes and brass bands. It was his dad's jazz band combo that gave him the inspiration for Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album. Um, also, Jim, his dad, taught him how to be a gentleman, which is a great trait to have. And then Paul got a trumpet from his dad on his 14th birthday. According to Paul from the Beatles anthology, he said, My dad brought me a trumpet for my birthday at Rushworth and Draper's, the other music store in town, and I loved it. There was a big hero thing at the time. There had been Harry James, the man with the golden trumpet, and now in the 50s it was Eddie Calvert, a big British star who played Cherry Pink and Apple Blossom White, all those gimmicky trumpet songs. There were a lot of them around back then. So we all wanted to be trumpeteers. I persevered with the trumpet for a while. I learned the saints, which I can still play and see. I learned my C scale and a couple of things. And then I realized I wasn't going to be able to sing with this thing around my mouth, in my mouth. Uh, so I asked my dad if he mind swapping it for a guitar, which fascinated me. And he said he didn't. And I traded my trumpet in for an acoustic guitar, a Zenith, which I still have. When Paul got into his teens, he started to gravitate toward American rock and roll. He loved Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley, Little Richard, Eddie Cochran, and Jerry Lee Lewis. It was Paul's love of the song 20 Flight Rock by uh, Eddie Cochran and Bebop Alula by Gene Vincent that caused him to memorize the lyrics, which impressed John Lennon and his band The Coronet. Uh, John had trouble remembering lyrics, and that led him to make up his own words. John and the band were also surprised that Paul knew how to tune a guitar. It was after a member of the quarrymen left the group that John and the band decided to let Paul join. It was then that John and Paul spent many hours together playing guitar. Their friendship began once Paul joined the group. It was 1957 and American rock and roll started to become listened to in England. One rock and roller that the English boys emphasized with was uh, Buddy Holly. He appealed to them because he wasn't really handsome. He composed his own songs and he used guitar chords that weren't complex. Paul began creating his own tunes and trying his hand at writing songs. It was Paul who inspired John to write entire songs because although um, John had always written lyrics, but he didn't go beyond that. But he all, Holly was also an inspiration to John to try songwriting also. Uh, Chuck Berry was an inspiration to both Paul and John. Paul said after Chuck Berry's death that to us, he was a magician making music that was exotic yet normal at the same time. Paul McCartney wrote on his website following Barry's death, We learned so many things from him, which led us into a dream world of rock and roll music. Paul said that his bass line for I Saw Standing With There was directly quoted Barry's I'm Talking About You. The Everly Brothers were also an influence on Paul and the Beatles in their early years. Uh, the Everly Brothers had great, uh, beautiful vocals and harmonizing, and that helped to give Paul and the Beatles their sound. Elvis, of course, was the king of rock and roll to Paul and the rest of the Beatles. When asked why Elvis wasn't on the cover of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Paul stated, Elvis was too important and too far above the rest even to mention, so we didn't put him on the list because he was more than merely a pop singer. He was Elvis the king. And Little Richard was quite an influence on Paul, too. Paul said, Little Richard was an idol whose falsetto vocalizations helped inspire uh, McCartney's own vocal technique. McCartney said he wrote I'm Down as a vehicle for his little Richard impersonation. Uh, Paul's bass playing was inspired by Motown, most notably James Jamerson because of his melodic style. Paul was also inspired by Stanley Clark. He was a film composer and he introduced prominent bass and jazz music with his band Return to Forever. Paul's influences were like stepping stones that kept leading him toward his destiny. It led him to the Quarrymen, and then it got him into the most popular rock and roll band in the history of rock and roll, which was the Beatles. Thank you, Paul, for your love of music, 
and your determination to make it in the music world as part of the Beatles, Wings, and then as a solo artist. Your talent will live on with fans present and future. Okay, so that is it for today. I thank you for tuning in to The Beatles Forever, and I will see you soon, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.